In this video, I'm going to show you how I use Obsidian to crank out daily content in my spare time and how you can do the same. So this video is for you if you have a bunch of scattered notes but have no clue how to turn these into publishable pieces of content. Whether it's YouTube videos, blog posts, newsletters, social media posts, you name it. You will walk away with a simple framework that won't require you to spend all your time tagging, creating new folders, migrating all your notes or overthinking your note folder structure. It will help you be more prolific than ever. It's a note taking system that I've been using for the past five years to publish over 1600 pieces of content. So let me show you exactly how to set this up. First, let me start by creating a new vault. This is basically a folder where all your obsidian notes are going to live. And I'm going to call this content brain. I'm going to put this into my documents and I'm simply going to hit create. So now, as you can see, I have my new vault, right? So let's just get rid of everything that we see right here. And let's just also delete this note so that we start with a blank slate. So wouldn't it be nice to actually see all our planned and past content in a calendar view and also in kind of a Trello board so that we can easily organize and see visually what we are creating. Well, let's just create that first. So the first thing that I'd like to create is a folder for each type of content I want to produce. So I'm simply going to head over on the folder icon right here, click enter and Let's just assume for this example, that my plan is to create a YouTube video. So I'm simply going to call this YouTube. My plan is also to write a weekly newsletter. So let me just call this newsletter and also posting on social media. So I'm simply going to name this social media. So now we have three folders. And the reason why we do this is for three main reasons. Number one, it helps us set up a nice clean view and well-organized content calendar for that specific type of content. I'm going to show you how in just a few minutes. Number two, it keeps things clean and organized within your Obsidian Vault. And finally, it will also help you to retrieve and search and you'll know exactly where to search for it. So now, as you can see, we have our folders, but we want a calendar view. We want something where we can actually visualize um, our content and dump our content ideas. So what we're going to do, we're going to install one simple plugin. And for that, simply head over to the settings right here and First, we need to enable the community plugin. So I have to go back to the settings right now. And now once this is done, I can hit on browse and I can search for community plugins. And I wanted to search for something called, so I'm using a plugin called projects, but in order to download that plugin, you first need to install something called Brat. So simply search for Brat, click install, click enable. And now that you have Brat installed, you can search for add beta plugin. And then what you need to do is simply copy and paste that link. I leave that down below in the description. So click on add plugin and simply select the latest version. And that's it. Now we have that plugin installed. So what this plugin will allow us to do is creating a content calendar um, for each one of our content types. So first of all, let's just open projects right here. You see the icon on the left-hand side. And once we do this, it will actually ask us to create a new project. So let's just create a new project. And we're going to call this YouTube, right? For the path, I'm simply going to choose our YouTube folder and let's just create the project. So now, as you can see, by default, it will actually show up a table. Now, here's an interesting thing. We can actually click on add view and we can go for a calendar view and boom, now we have a content calendar. Now, I like to have my content calendar set on a monthly view. So you can actually change this right here. And now, so now what we can do, we can actually create a sample note, which is going to be basically our YouTube script. So let's just call this sample YouTube script, right? Hit command or control colon. And what you can do right now, you can actually assign a date to this. So let's just call this publish date and then click here and choose the date format. It will automatically become a date. And then you can simply pick the date that you want from the content calendar right here. I simply wanted to make sure that you actually take your first YouTube script right here and make sure that it's actually within the YouTube folder, right? And once this is done, as you can see, 
It will automatically detect the date. And now you can actually start populating your content calendar by simply double clicking on the date where you actually want to create your piece of content. And the interesting thing is you can actually move this around, right? So let's assume that I'm going to publish every Thursday a new video on YouTube. What I have to do is I can actually, you know, set this up for the whole month, right? So now what I can do, I can simply click on this and it will actually open that specific note. So let's assume that on that specific day, I'm going to make a tutorial about X, right? And then the week after a tutorial about Y, right? And then here, all I have to do is I can simply type my script, right? Okay, so now that you've set this up for YouTube, let's just see exactly how to do this for, for social media and for your newsletter. It's basically the exact same process. So let's just create a new note called, let's say, social media post one. It doesn't really matter, just like for setting up the project. Command colon or control colon. Let's just pick a publishing date. Done. Let's just drag it into social media, right? And let's just do the exact same thing for newsletter. So let's say newsletter one. Command colon. Let's just go to publish dates and then just set the date and drag it into the newsletter folder. Now, Let's just open our projects right here. Click on create new project and let's just call this newsletter. Our path is going to be newsletter, create project. Boom, here we have it. Now we can also do this with obviously social media. Path is going to be social media, create a new project. So by default, as you see, it always creates a table. And if you want the calendar view, we simply click on the plus sign right here and just choose calendar and click on add view. And we see our social media posts, right? Same thing for the newsletter. So now that we've created our three project, we can easily navigate between these. And let's assume that you just don't want the table. Simply delete the view, that's it. Let's just go back to social media. We can delete this view too, so that every time we hit social media, it will actually show us our calendar. Same thing for the newsletter, right? Um, let's just create that calendar view again. Um, let's just remove the table. Let's just make this a monthly view. And as you can see, nice and clean. So now you visually see, and you don't have to create, you know, things in your calendar with weird links. Everything right now lives in Obsidian. It's simple, it's neat, it's clean. So once this is done, the next question is like, how do you actually start taking notes, right? Because right now you might be telling me, well, you just showed me how to set up a content calendar. Thank you. That's valuable. But how do I actually start taking notes? So for that, I strongly recommend you using what I call the modified Zettelkasten. So you're probably already familiar with the Zettelkasten method. So what it really is, it's a way of taking atomic notes, right? So small notes where each note equals one idea, right? So one note equals one idea, right? So now you might be asking, why are we actually doing this? Well, for a simple reason, because if we break down our notes into one simple ideas, it will then allow us to combine these ideas together every time we create a new piece of content. Because what is basically a piece of content? A piece of content is nothing else than several ideas linked together. If you use links instead of tags, it will allow you to process your notes faster and it would also allow you to come up with better ideas. So this is a whole other video on itself, but just to give you a little bit of background, why we are actually doing things like that. Instead of classifying the notes with tags and folders, we, we simply link notes between, and the way we actually do this in Obsidian is pretty simple, is we simply type bracket bracket, and then we can actually link notes between them. Now here is the interesting thing. There is something called the graph view that you can use in Obsidian. So simply hit command or control P and search for graph view, right? And open the local graph. Actually show you all notes that are connected together. And this is how basically I create my content. Let me just show you a concrete example of that. I'm simply going to switch to my real world and not to this demo world because it's going to be way easier to understand this. So here I am in the note that is basically the script for this YouTube video. So as you can see, I have my hook and here I have basically the different parts of the video that we already went through. So the interesting thing when you are just getting started is to not try to move all your notes straight into Obsidian, but it's simply to move things as you go. Let me explain what I mean by that. One of my earlier ideas in this video 
was about creating a new folder for each type of content that you want to create, right? This can basically be note because it's about one step of the process. So what I can do is I can simply copy and paste this and create a new note with that same content. I'm simply going to name this note and I'm going to keep, give it this specific title and create a new folder for each type of content that you want to create, right? So this now basically becomes a note, right? And now what I can do, I can actually get rid of all of this and simply link back to my original note and then basically link this, this one back to content calendar, right? So now here's the interesting thing. Let me just head over to my content calendar note. So as you can see, I already have a bunch of few things right here. And now this is where it becomes really powerful because once you actually start linking your notes together, you can now again, open the local graph view, right? And now I can see straight what ideas are basically already linked together. So the next time when I'm going to create a video or a piece of content about the content calendar, all I have to do is simply assemble these ideas together, right? And this is where it's really powerful because that way you can easily reuse your ideas and really think of your ideas as building blocks rather than isolated thoughts that you have to come up with every time you start creating a new piece of content. And now everything, all I'm doing when I'm creating a new piece of content where I know that my ideas are already in my knowledge base, what do I do? I simply head over to my project and I select the articles project and, and then I simply start creating, um, my new piece. So let's assume that my piece is, you know, how to create <laughs> daily content with Obsidian, right? Which is basically what this piece is about. I simply create the new file, head over to that file. And now the interesting thing is we can also leverage something called the pain view in Obsidian. So let me just show you how to do this. So first of all, let's just open a new tab and now I can take this tab, drag it to the right and I can have this kind of sp nice split view. And now I can actually go to a previous piece of content I've created, which is this one, five simple rules I follow religiously to publish daily content, right? And now I can actually see the ideas that I've used in that specific content, right? So now what I can do, um, I can simply start reusing this and simply look what makes sense in this specific context. As an example, one of them was basically consuming less content, ignoring social media. So this is not appropriate for our specific video today, but actually making content uh, a priority, right? Making content creation a priority could be an idea that I could reuse right here. So I can simply, you know, link this back right here, make content a priority. And then in this specific case, the interesting thing is this is, this was actually a short form piece that I created. So I can actually take a look at this right here and simply reuse that same idea in that specific piece of content, right? So as you can see, it really allows you to build a wild net of interconnected ideas so that when you actually start creating content, you never start from scratch. So I've been using this for the past five years and there was never a time where I actually run out of content ideas because all I have to do is simply open my Obsidian Vault and if I'm short on ideas, I simply click on any idea that I've created in the past and I open the local graph view and then suddenly I see all the pieces of content I've created and all the ideas that I use in each piece. And that's basically how you build a knowledge base of ideas that you can reuse over and over again without ever having to start from scratch again. So this will not only allow you to create content faster, but it will also help you come up with new insights on your specific expertise. So now getting all your ideas together and being able to centralize them in one simple system to create more content is just kind of the first step because now that you have the ideas, how do you actually talk about these ideas in a compelling way? I created a simple cheat sheet that you can download for free. It's the first thing in the description that will give you three simple templates to talk about any idea in a compelling way. All you have to do is click the first link in the description. And I hope that this video was helpful and that it will help you create more content consistently to build your audience and income. And with that being said, I see you on the flip side and in the next video.